So today's video is going to be about comedy writing and in specific sketch. There really is no one way to do comedy. It's all very subjective and based off the person's experiences and anecdotes and what they think is funny. Now, I wouldn't say I'm an expert at comedy writing at all, but I do know someone that performs comedy, writes comedy, and some may even say that he is comedy. Welcome. Jimmy Fallon. Wait a second, am I the extra person? And am I the odd man out? Okay, who wants me? Oh! Who wants me? Paul, thank you for that incredible intro. And thank you for unintentionally matching plaids with me, because I think this is a great look for us. I mean, I think we should make a little gang, a yeah. plaid gang. Guys, this will Check be our it. first sketch. <laughs> this is to show you how good we are at comedy. Let me just start by saying that there's no cut and dried way to do it. Content like TikTok, content keeps getting shorter and shorter. So really you can do whatever feels fun to you. I think that's the most important thing, but we'll just focus on the traditional um, formula and just go from there. So what you're gonna wanna do is start out with something unusual or something funny happens, okay? That's gonna be the, the first unusual thing. Then you're gonna have three beats. So they're gonna be heightening situations where things keep escalating. And then you're gonna have your button, or sometimes people call it a blow, and that's your out. So that's like the biggest funny thing that happens at the end. Wow! Okay, this is interesting. A West Hollywood pool party with a bunch of straight acting gays. And, and I didn't get invited? Hmm. I guess I'm not mask enough. How you like me now? You think I can't butch it up? Did this offend you? Did you serve in the military? Actually, yes, I did. Uh oh. A few weeks later, I noticed you had unmatched me. Girl! I guess we're using female pronouns to disparage people. That ain't woke, mom. You can prove everyone wrong. You can take me out on a date and show that you don't care about that kind of stuff. One date. We're going live on Instagram. My followers are out for blood. I'm in a relationship. With who? With me. Mama, you're kind of embarrassing yourself. Because you're not nice. You're, you're really negative and um, mean-spirited. For that sketch, it's really character-driven, where he's super venomous, angry, bitter. But also, he has like a, a good message, which is all about inclusion but it's very much camouflage for the fact that he just wants to like berate all these people and pretty much ruin this party. I think it's really funny when characters take everyone hostage and like people have to basically just take all this abuse from this character. Here's the thing, comedy is subjective. Some people love things that other people hate across the board, even with like the biggest comedians ever. If you're doing something that genuinely makes yourself laugh, the chances are someone else is gonna think it's funny. And at the end of the day, like for me, there are times I put stuff out and they're not, it's not as popular or some people don't like it, but I know that like I can say this made me laugh and that's a great instinct. Use that as your guide. Another thing you wanna think about when you're writing is just specifics. I just ordered a salad versus like, I just ordered sweet greens. It makes it feel more real and you kinda of get tra you know transported into this world. You can just see their point of view more. Yeah, it's fine, it's just Lyme disease. Postmates? Okay. Yeah. Order some tender greens? That's me. One date to catch for yeah. just one meal and an appetizer and dessert. Give you a makeover from head to toe. $75 burned at banana. Never got a payback. And as soon as you start dating Jess, I seem to remember my invitation getting lost in a group hang. Heightening in sketches makes you more invested into the story. So as you heighten, you're basically raising the stakes. It's like a roller coaster. You keep going up and up and up before the drop. My tip for heightening is, let's say you have a bunch of ideas that you want to happen. Great, write them all down and then figure out what is the most heightened version. If you're sitting at your computer and you're just writing from the beginning to end, that totally works. Whatever feels good for you. But I also think sometimes it takes the pressure off just to write down everything I want to happen and then start building the sketch from there. One of the things that people respond to is things that are topical, things that are current. People want to share, thinking like, wait, why would someone share this? Obviously things that are funny, but also things that feel relatable. People are like, oh my God, this is so me. Comedy is trial and error. So just no matter what, 
Just have fun when you're riding. Even if you're scared, that's totally okay. Every sketch I've ever done, I've thought, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Every time I'm like, oh, I shouldn't do this. And it, it a lot of times goes great. So just keep on, like yeah. do it, encourage yourself. Yeah, be sure to uh, comment below if you're working on something or you're writing something. And thanks so much for watching. Good luck with your writing. Peace. Bye.